bad. No, you look like a rooster straight up. You're welcome. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you could join me. Today we're going to do a hairstyle video with multiple hairstyles that are super easy and heatless. This right here is what my hair looks like when it's been air dried. It's on its fourth day fourth day and there's only dry shampoo in it so it's doing pretty good it has a little bit of texture and grit which is perfect for these hairstyles let's begin with the first one the first hairstyle is going to be including three strand braids these are the easy braids where you don't have to add hair into each section of the braid so i'm just going to split my hair right in the middle i'm going to give it a quick brush and this one is one of my favorite hairbrushes at the moment. So now I'm gonna take a section of hair starting from the top of my ear and just kind of go and add a diagonal a little bit and just grabbing a nice section almost up to my, to my crown. All right, that looks good. I'm just gonna brush it out one more time. So the way I'm going to split it is basically top, middle, and a bottom into three sections. And now I'm going to braid, very simple. You take the bottom section over the middle gonna clean it up and then you take this top section over the middle and just continue doing it bottom section over the middle top section over the middle bottom section over the middle top section over the middle and just continue doing that and I'm gonna stop braiding once I have a little bit of hair left and I'm gonna start pulling this braid apart you can really go crazy with this. So this is this is a technique called pancaking the braid, which means you're just kind of making the braid nice and wide. This is why it's good to have some kind of dry shampoo or texture spray in your hair before you do these hairstyles. So second day hair, third day hair, fourth day hair, sixth day hair. Very <laughs> I'm gonna take a little clear elastic and just tie it off for now. And then do the same thing on the other side. So we started with our bottom piece. We're gonna start with the bottom piece on this side as well. So bottom over the middle, top over our middle. Now that both of the braids are done, they look somewhat even. I think this one is a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna pull it apart a little bit more. To combine the two braids, I'm going to take a little bit of hair from underneath and combine it into one big ponytail. In the last step, I'm going to take the two little clear elastics that I used to tie the braids. This one is perfect for you if you love braids, but you get a little bit confused when you start having to add hair into each section. With the ponytail, you can create a topsy tail or a cute little bun to kind of add your little flair to it or add some cute hair accessories. But there you go. Very simple, easy, and I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? This next heatless hairstyle is going to be a fun take, but an easy take on the faux hawk idea that I love so very much. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna grab a section and I'm gonna create little ponytails, but like half a ponytail, half bun. I'll explain. So I'm grabbing the first section, not too big, not too small, kind of like the section you'd create like a pompadour. So taking that section, clear elastic, I'm gonna tie the section once, twice and then the third time i'm going to bring the hair like that much through i'm going to continue doing that in line where i grabbed the first section bring it once twice and the third time just bring it halfway through All right, so I have a total of four sections. So now what I'm gonna do is, you see this little hair that was left over? I'm just gonna wrap it around once. And just kind of bring it towards the back and just secure it with mini bobby pins. And do the same thing. You can even go through or just start being playful with it and just securing them. So what I'm gonna do to put it together, I'm gonna take these little sections right here on the sides and just combine them to the section behind it. All 
All right, so what I did is I went back, kind of played around with it. Maybe it took some hairs out, kind of fixed it. But there you go. You can leave it down like this to kind of give it a more of like a romantic look. But then you have kind of like a very edgy hairstyle at the very top. This definitely gives me Viking princess vibes. Or I'm gonna show you guys two other ways you can wear this. Next rendition is going to be a sleek, but kind of like a puffy ponytail. So you can pick up all of your hair and bring it kind of like right underneath where the last little bun or flower is. I like to call them little flowers because they kind of look like really messy flowers. <laughs> and just take that ponytail and secure it with a clear elastic. I'm gonna take my brush and kind of tease the ponytail a little bit. Who's the cuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm just having the time of his life <sighs> with his hairstyle. This is a very editorial look, Andre. Appreciation, please. I'm in guard for real. Yes. And there we have it. What do you guys think of this second rendition? The Andre says it looked like a rooster. I think, I think you get my vote for this one. <laughs> I will go out with you like that. Will you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If this hairstyle has not won you over yet, Andre said it looks better in real life. This last rendition with this really cool faux hawk hairstyle, I'm going to create a really cool messy bun to kind of complete the entire look. This is actually what I would start with. Make the ponytail nice and rough and poofy and then start creating your messy bun. And there we have it with the really pretty bun. It kind of finishes off the entire look. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> I think the ponytail one was my favorite. <laughs> Definitely the ponytail. But this one's also really elegant and very retro at the same time. I hope you guys had fun with me with these hairstyles. Let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what other hairstyles or what other videos you guys want to see next. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.